I'm here at the Peter Woodbury School here in Bedford, New Hampshire, whereby the entire fourth grade class is going to build a gigantic Rube Goldberg machine inside one of their classrooms. That's a new one for me. Should be fun. Let's see how it goes. One of the classrooms that I've been given dangerous free range over to take things. Should I? No, no. Let's be respectful. Like steal things from the wall instead. It's also perfect because their mascot is a penguin. All right, let's see the room we are building in. Some cabinets, open walls, just one giant empty canvas for a machine to get built in. I can't wait. Groups of fourth graders came together at Peter Woodbury School in Bedford, New Hampshire, whereby we're creating this elaborate Rube Goldberg machine that solves not one, but 10 different tasks, all of which the students themselves both picked out, designed, and built the various modules behind you. But we haven't tested it yet. So I'm really excited to see how successful it is. Are we gonna get that elusive, perfect run? Meaning no touches, it works perfectly from start to finish. Stay tuned to find out. Welcome. Welcome guys to your Rube Goldberg machine. What do you think? Yeah. Is everyone ready for your Rube Goldberg machine? Yes! yes. All right, in three, two, one. Waddle flies, causing that to go. Golden ball, leaves that. Causing that to miss. This thing is supposed to hit this, which causes the pencil to come out. Pops the balloon, opens the cap door, cabinet swings, causing the roller skate to come out, roll down, drops the ball into the net, turns on the fan, which is gonna knock over the dinosaur. That closes the laptop, leaves the wrecking ball, which causes the bowling ball to roll across the room. And then we had a lot of issues with this yesterday. It didn't roll in the proper place. Like even right now, it didn't hit the right spot. Let's pretend that that swings and hits. That causes the tether ball to unwind. And as it knocks. And then the final image. <laughs> and with it, we display the entire fourth grade class. Now you can finally see what everybody else built. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, so Waddles goes, which causes the bowling ball to roll. Oh, yeah. That opens the cabinet. From there, Super Duck goes rolling, gets caught on his own string. Gets caught on his own string, which knocks that down. <gasps> the baseball didn't trigger this. That's the first time it's ever gone wrong. So baseball falls onto the swing and the shot. Rolls down. Rolls down. Wrecking ball. Bowling ball rolls and rolls. Hulk tree makes it. Go, go, go. Into the target. That's what it's for. And swings and misses. Three interventions thus far. From there, the tether ball has spin, spin, spin. And. Drops, turns on the projector, and we successfully complete the task. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody, to your Rube Goldberg machine. Are you guys ready? Is this yeah. going to work? Yeah. yeah! There it is. Awesome. In three, Two, one. Waddles flies, which hits the bowling ball, which rolls folk into that. There's causing the trap to get set. That pops the balloon into there. That opens up the cabinet the door. That then allows that to drop. Super Ducky rolls down, hitting the basket. Off the edge, missed. Causing the ball to drop, which then causes the fan to then blow across the table into the dinosaur. Drops that, that ball, flat top closes, bowling ball's gonna roll. 
We were fingers crossed, which of course I completely forgot about this, so we That goes up, drops, light goes off, that swings into the book, which then causes that to drop. Go, 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 go. Can we get one intervention? Yes, all right. We solved the task with only one intervention. Are you ready? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. All right, in three, two, one, Waddles goes flying, which causes the bowling ball to roll down the hill. Set, animal gets caught. Balloon gets popped, sharp pencil sharpen, closet opens up. That drops off the roller skate. With Super Ducky comes down, hopefully it works. Ball goes into the hoop. The fan rolls across as they're knocked the dice or blows in the laptop. That's gonna cause the bowling ball to roll across. So far, so good. Bowling ball rolls across. It's gonna precariously hit that. From there, turn it off the left, cause it back to stay on. Did it make it? With a little help for me, yes. As that swings around, that causes that to drop. We completed the task with only one intervention. Awesome! really cool. Welcome. All right. Is everyone ready, though? Yes! There it is. Three, two, one. Wallace flies, causing the bowling ball to roll forward. Air causing the trap to extend that causes the balloon to get popped. Cabinet door opens up. That's going to release the skate into there. That's going to drop a ball into a hoop. That turns on the fan. The fan is going to knock over the dinosaur. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So far, so good. Causes the laptop into the bowling ball. Let's see if that bowling ball hits because this please, is so far please. the most precarious element. Come on. Come on, please. Go bowling ball into that. Yeah. So far, so good. We're almost at the end. That's going to drop down the tether ball to the finale. Just has to hit. Just has to hit. Just has to hit. And the projector. Yeah! And Wait, wow. we had our first perfect run of the day. Everything went. I wouldn't call it perfectly. That was a little nerve wracking right there, right? Yeah. yeah. Wasn't sure I could do that. Wasn't sure I could pull off this machine either, but after a very long day, multiple test runs, I think 20-ish at this point, we finally got a perfect run at the end. I mean, it was poetry in motion. The fact that all of these little everyday objects combine together, create these amazing Rube Goldberg machines. I always say, I love my job. And I now get to go home happy because we did it. I said I get to go home, but I kind of forgot. I've got to clean all this up and I got to do it fast because tomorrow I'm at another project. So I want to show you how little waste is generated from building Rube Goldberg machines. Finished in just about an hour. All the trash fits within a five gallon bucket. It's mostly just things like plastic cups, which I destroyed, zip ties that can't be reused, also balloons. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments of what I can do with used balloons because I go through a lot of them. Otherwise, I'm Zach with Zach's Contraptions. Please give a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and just stay tuned for everything Rube Goldberg related because subscribing is the best way to support the work that I do on this channel because I love doing outreach in places like this. But again, thanks for watching.